Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Doc, of course, samplekings.com. I get some water here. Been a cool day up here. Uh, and I'm loading up my software, and I saw this here. Of course, I need to change the audio device setup. So I'm trying to do a video on the overall MPC 2.11.9 software. So I'm going to do a really good video on this. And uh, if you want, you can leave some comments in the bottom of this video as I start to make this video. And so I'll probably present it in a couple days. So leave a comment below about what you want to know, what you might want to know. This way we can communicate back and forth, or at least on this video. Then I'll put the video out. We'll talk more the next time. So I loaded it back up here, and I've got it up here. This is it here. Let me go back. Here. There you go. And this is uh, the audio device setup changed, right? So change. I'll go back into preferences. I'll look at it for a second. If I'll cancel it, I'll do it later on. I'll cancel it. But here, I just found this out. I got new plug-in instruments. Now, I don't know when this came up. I've had 11, uh, two 11.9 for a while. I made a video about that, about updating your MPC software, which I did. This didn't come up then. So don't show again or remind me. So new plugin instruments are available. Uh, you must first download and install their content files. Uh, open preferences and select the active plugins tab. You can download content files for each plugin from there. Okay, so look, I gotta go to preferences anyway, right? So. Can I go to preferences from here without doing anything at all? Can I do that actually? It's just settings. Oh, I can't do anything. I must go now. Show me. Uh, show me again later. Oh, remind me. Uh, let's see. This is don't. Let's see. Remind me again later. Remind, remind me anyway. So I want to go back into here and look at these. This is what they're talking about. I got new plugins. What's going on? I have no idea. I must do this. I'll make an empty session. I don't need anything from you guys right now. I gotta have an empty session. Now I'm gonna go here. We're going to settings, which is actually preferences. I don't know why they say settings there and not settings here or preferences there. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna go here to activate plugins, and I have a lot of plugins. So what are they talking about? I don't need to refresh anything here. I don't think it's a get the trial. I have a trial already. This one, and I have a fabric organ. OPX4 stage EPs. I got stage piano, studio strings, hype. I've got Mellotron. We got Selena, and we have Odyssey. Okay, this is all in here, so I don't see what they're talking about. So don't need to register anything. But I guess I've got to download the content of something. Now let's refresh it. Let's see what refresh does for us. Oh. Everything is there. I don't have to do anything, actually. Activate, activate. Everything is activated. It's all going on pretty good. So I don't want to log out. I'm just going to go like here and just um, maybe do a scan. Those are the plugins are right here. I don't know. I might do some scans here. I could do a new scan, which I shouldn't have to do. Uh, rescan might work real quickly. Let's see what we got. I got some plugins I also got already from... Uh, I guess a couple of different companies I got some plugins from. Free plugins, of course. I'm not really buying anything these days. That's what I've got's pretty good. And I think that um, a lot of guys don't know how to use plugins or use EQs or compressors and things like that. So I get stuff that's pretty good, pretty clean. Uh-oh. A Kai app would like to access your files in your documents folder. Hmm. There's a documents folder. I think I'll let him do that. So I'm on a MacBook Pro. Now, this is what I'm into pretty much. When I work with MPC, I prefer to use my computer as my MPC. Now, that sounds weird to some guys, but the truth is an MPC one live, two live, MPC X, MPC X special edition, and any MPC is a computer, essentially. It's a computer device. And what they do is they put buttons on it in the screen so you can feel better about it. And this is the same thing as anything else, except it has a lot of freaking memory. And then also, um, this is an M1 MacBook Pro. And it's like ridiculous MacBook Pro. This has eight terabytes. So <laughs> I got no problem with memory, got me? And so wait a minute, would like to access, okay, sure, check that out too. Let's do my desktop now. And so, this is my MPC. 
and the reason why I got this like this, I prefer to have, I can use any software. I can pull the NPC up and then pull up Logic and I can send the outputs directly into Logic and route them throughout Logic and stuff like that. So I prefer to work that way because NPC is not a door. It's actually an NPC device, which is a plugin. And so I can use the NPC in Logic, Pro Tools, uh, Ableton Live, whatever. So it's pretty cool to use it that way. And I just make a lot of um, instructional videos on how to use NPCs because I get it from stores or I get it from like, um, I used to get them from um, Amazon, I'd get some, or I'd get some from someplace, whatever, or find someone who had one. I come make a video, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool to do. So I see here a couple of them crashed here, something crashed on top of here. I have no idea what crashed here. What is this one? What does that say? I can't even hold it. See, once I get past it, it's still working here. So it's doing a complete scan of everything. We're looking for all the order units, everything else here. You'll see something. It's crashed. What the hell is that when it crashed? Here's when it crashed too. What is this one? I have no idea what that is. And it says done here. Okay, good. Now, what I do is I want to see what crashed, what's not working, what is working, order units here. Synthesizer D3. Okay, this is uh, Air. That's the D33. This is Loom. Okay, that's the audio unit crash, right? This is the audio unit crashed. And then we have, what else we got here? And one more crash here. What is this other one here? This is effects. And got that. Okay, so we're good. Pretty much. So now I'll just close this out. So I just want to see what's going to crash, what isn't, how the scan worked, what other units I have that are not working. And it seems like the ones that aren't working now look like they're the, uh, a couple of these seem like they're air. So I'll cut this out of here. Boom. And that's what I do when I turn my computer on. So it's kind of cool, right? So otherwise, I've got a lot of plugins here. And then of course I got a lot of, uh, let's go here to the expansion packs. I gotta make sure I put this on. No, there you go. Like, my expansion packs are right here. So I have to press X to do that, of course. Expansion packs there. I can go here to see files too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right? It makes it easier for me to get around. And B is my browser. So B is the browser. X, my expansion packs. F are the files. Now, what I do too, tend to do a lot, is I have a lot of software here. And if you do too, what you should do is actually find out all the samples you got on your computer. So I have eight terabytes here. I got a lot of different softwares. I've got, uh, let's see what I got here. I got, um, I got too much stuff here. I got MPC Beats, MPC. I've got this uh, SP404 stuff. I got uh, Avid, which means Pro Tools. I got, uh, ooh, I got Ableton Live. I got Logic. I got M no, Machine. And of course, machine um, native access for machine. I got FL Studio. I got a lot of wave files, of course, wave um, wave stuff, which is actually uh, plugins. And then of course, I have, I have Final Cut Pro. I do video editing too. So I need all this stuff actually to work to what, what I'm doing. And it's cool to have it because I do video and I also do audio. So it's really cool. But the good thing to do. And a great thing to do is look for everything you got from other companies. Like the video guys on my video side, I've got some sort of, uh, you know, kind of like background special effects, you know, like trains, planes, a fire engine, a whistle, ice cream truck, people walking, that kind of stuff, you know, for video. And then also I have stuff that comes from Pro Tools, right? And I got stuff from everywhere else. But what I normally do, I will go to here and I'll look for what I've got. I go, okay, that's pretty cool right there, right? So I'll find out different stuff from different places. So here you'll see I'm in user shared and of course it's Chrome library and it says samples and it says drums, right? So I've got libraries of stuff here from other people like machine. I've got all their samples. Now machine may give you like 14,000 samples and more over the years. And so I will use those same samples in MPC if I'm in the MPC software. Or if I'm a machine and a client says, use this for a machine, he wants me to add software, add samples rather, I'm gonna go in there, pull the samples out of some place and put them in there for him, you know? Even when I have to redesign samples, I will take samples from other companies and then redesign them. I'll add some effects to it, I'll make it bigger or make it tight enough so I can have a real tight, tight sound. Cause I like to actually use my own samples and then create samples when we actually uh, display our samples and we actually give them away in our website. Now you can also join us at samplekings.com. It's only $30 for a one year subscription. And of course you get to download 
all our samples. We're going to put another 10,000 up at the end of this month coming up here. It's going to be a lot of great samples in there. And we're also adding more videos in the system as well. So any questions also, we answer, respond to. And we do Zoom sessions too. Just go on Zoom. I don't care where you are in the world. Boom, we'll get to you. We'll talk about it. We'll go over it. You pull the gear up. We can work all the gear. Of course, all the NPCs, uh, machine, rolling, whatever it is. You know, they're just pretty much just gear to us because we're kind of like uh, gearheads. We like to play with toys, actually. So that's the truth about it. But we can help you at any point in time if you need help. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to show you this. I'm hearing this. I come to here, and I'm going to be here. Uh, and you see that. Get to right there. That's the library I'm in, right? So it's a library. I go to the library, and I'm going to look for samples in that library. And I can see a bunch of such NPC beats and stuff that's inside that library. So I'm here, and I have to go further about the content, but it's a library for NPC stuff. And so I have a, just a mad library of stuff. I can look for documents and look for more stuff. But what you want to do is make sure that you have everything locked in. Like you see here in the browser, I can hit this button here. I can go to here. I've got different samples here. I go to here. I've got more samples here. So what I normally do is make sure these folders are attached to the, my favorite places actually to get other samples from. That way I can get to them quickly. Now, if you've got any questions you want to know about how to use this MPC software, uh, just hit me up and of course we'll talk about it or you can actually watch my video coming up. But also, leave a message down below so I'll know what you might want to know, what I might want to teach, and also the more we get of one thing means that a lot of guys want to know that one thing. That's a pretty complicated software at times but it really isn't of course this is our main window here of course i come down to here i can get to my whoa there's my mixer right there you no know, let's turn the mixer off right there you can change up anything here in the window of course i can come to here let's get to here actually we've got this right here and you can see that All right here here we go i can change up right here once you put your cursor, you can see that stuff. Now, you don't, if you don't see these help menus here, you go to the bottom right down here, if you don't see anything, and you have this quick help, right? Now, you see, I can click, select H for that. Off and on, see? So, once this is on, it's my help. So, anywhere I go to my cursor, I may need help. What the hell is this? I don't know. See, it doesn't even tell you that one. What is this one here? That says on off. Okay, what's this one here? It doesn't tell me that. Oh, yes, it does. It means loop. So I have some things it does tell you, some things it doesn't. But it will tell you mostly everything here. And you come to here, and it's, what is that? I can't tell. It come to here. BPM, you're to see what that is, right? And this is tap. So I can tap tempo. And the T works stuff. So I can do T. T, 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 T. I'm tapping, and the tempo's changing. Cool. I like that. So I'll do T again. There's T. I hit two or three times. Now to select this here and to fix it, well, I don't know what's going to do. You can tap it twice. It'll say, okay, this is the tempo. And if you want to look at that, you come to here, you go to settings, and you'll sort of find out where your tap tempo is at, right? And you can go for the hardware, whatever it is, but it'll be here in this, in this window right here. Uh, and you can find it too as well. I won't take you to, the, to it right now, but... I want to get you to be familiar with what I'm going to teach you coming up. If you've got any questions about where the tap tempo is, leave it in the bottom. Now, of course, I want to do sampling. There's a sample sign right there. It's pretty simple stuff. Put the cursor there. It tells you what it is. This is really cool about the NP software. I kind of like that a lot. Of course, it'll help you out. Particularly if you were going to do something. You might be drunk. I don't know. You might come home with, I got a beat, man. I can feel it right now. Uh, you know, and you're like, what? I was just... Think of a beat, what happened? You gotta be able to get to your beat, know what you're doing. If you're smoking weed, I don't suggest you smoking weed or drink, but I know guys who actually have done that kind of thing in the session. So the whole idea though is to keep that help menu button open. It will help you out a lot. So any questions you got, hit me up here. We're at samplekings.com. You can also join our site as well. And we also have a special deal now with Zoom or Zounds, right? So Zounds, you can join Zounds. You can join us, we're actually, and you can buy an item from Zounds. And then you'll be using uh, the link inside of our store for any item you see in there, right? I'm going to post a lot of Zounds 
uh, items in the store. You click on those items. It's also going to be on the main website as well. You click on the item, and then of course you can go buy in Zounds. But then once they tell us you're in, you bought the item, you would get a free. That's right. Free membership to somethings.com and plus you'll be able to get lessons to through Zoom and whatever you need to get. You can also purchase for that also. But the joining samplings will be free. You'll be able to get over 100,000 samples as well. And you can also contact us. My phone number is always available because, you know, we like people we want to talk to as well. Any questions, hit me up. I'm Doc, SampleKings.com. Thanks for checking us out. And don't forget to leave a comment in the bottom about what you might want to know about the MPC 2.11.9 or anything about the software. I'm making a big video on that this week. I want to make sure I cover a lot of stuff that people might want to know. So please leave a comment. And please become a subscriber. We noticed that maybe 90% of people just watch the video and don't subscribe. Please subscribe. Thanks again.